we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another edition of Broadcasting on the Beach with Halftime Howie. And we, uh, interesting topic for today's show, the journey of life dealing with adversity. And, uh, and we're going to talk about some of the big stories of the week. And uh, we'll get to that a little later. But um, my co-producer, Rocco Pasafumi, at 13, was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. And uh, his journey has been living on the spectrum and, and dealing with it like uh, so many other people, like his uh, good friend who we met on the spectrum, Rich Kaplan. So we're going to talk to Rocco and Rich and uh, talk to them how um, in their journey of life, how they dealt with it, how the, they've grown with it. And um, we should learn a lot and a lot of good um, perspective down the road. So let's bring in Rocco, talk about his journey. Dealing with um, uh, Asperger's syndrome and where he is right now in his life. Take it away, Rocco. Thank you very much, Howie. Um, yes, you know, being on the spectrum has its you know ups and downs, but um, I have to say, in in regards to where I am in my life, I would I, I I would not have gotten through you know everything without the tremendous support of not only my wonderful parents but also the wonderful people in my life both family and friends and um, I think for anybody you know f for me as somebody who's lived in Long Beach a long time now I feel Long Beach particularly helps for somebody who's in my particular situation because you know you're in an environment it's very tight-knit it reminds me a lot of because uh, I originally grew up in Queens so it reminds me quite a bit of Queens in many ways but it also reminds me of you know suburbs I've been to like Plainview which is where my father lives and just the whole environment of, of you know Long Beach is just a wonderful place for somebody with my situation you know because everybody here is very very close everybody knows each other here you know you have a great environment in terms of you know being able to do activities like riding your bike I like to ride my bike in uh, the boardwalk the, um, I live in the West End so there's like a bike path that goes right through there and it's fantastic you know means of getting around and it's just a great place you know you kind of you know you ride on your bike you go through the boardwalk and you admire you know the view of like whether it's you know the sun in the middle of the day or you know the moon at night and all that and you know I mean I think it's done wonders for somebody like me in terms of you know how I see the world and how I see human you know beings and stuff like that and I, I, I couldn't be more blessed to live in a place like Long Beach I really feel like Long Beach is a very very special place and you know and, and particularly since I've been on uh, broadcasting on the beach it, it's just it's just been even more of a blessing because you know since I've been here four years ago I've gotten to do tremendous things with Halftime Howie. Halftime Howie is probably one of the most wonderful people you ever meet he's just <laughs> you know he's just such a very giving man he's very philanthropic he really cares about people and he's really treated me like 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 a, like 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 another son and I feel like he's definitely like another father figure in my life I mean it's you know I've had you know my my father and my mother divorced when I was only three years old and I've had a lot of people that have been kind of father figures in my life and I'm very blessed to have that honestly because I really feel like you know it's in this world when you have what you have and you know you really sometimes feel a bit kind of on the periphery of, of how you deal with you know when you interact with people it's always good to have as much of a support system as possible and I really feel you know how he's one of those people that really um, has has brought that to me he's really helped me to give me a good sense of perspective on life you know, I've had many, many times and many, you know, personal interactions with him in the four years I've been with him. And he, he's just just somebody who I really feel like a strong kinship with, you know, like a nice kind of, you know, buddy, father, son kind of, you know, it, it's just one of the most wonderful things you could ever ask for. So I really feel blessed, you know, not only as a person on the spectrum, but somebody who's um, lived in Long Beach and to have had what I've had and to come you know on this journey I really feel like I've come a great deal long way and I feel like it's it's due to everybody in my life from like I said from my folks to to halftime Howie to the wonderful town I live in Long Beach and um, I, I, I guess there's no other way more to put it than that thank you 